Hello artists and art collectors and those with an interest in art. My name is Jane Schlepperbach and I'm an artist entrepreneur um, who sells my paintings um, over the years and I've sold them on eBay and, and, um, and on, at art fairs and uh, to private parties. And so I just want to um, share, oh, and I do commissions too, if anybody, for those who have a photo or a special subject they want painted. Um, but today I'm going to share some of my favorite books um, for artists to learn from, things that are helping me and that uh, have helped me. And... Um, I thought you'd probably want to learn those things too if you haven't, if you don't already know them. There's a lot of good tips in them. Because um, recently a friend of mine wanted me to teach her some techniques, and so I thought, well, I I want to show her these books. Um, at first I couldn't find it, but now I found this really good, uh, these really good books that that are helping me. One of them is this one. Um, I'm trying to get better at portrait drawing, so I'm using this book called Draw Real People, and um, it's a Discover from Discover Drawing series. Uh, the the author is Lee Hammond. So um, I'll just show the index of the book because I don't know if you're supposed to show. Uh, too much so <clears throat> anyway he's real encouraging and he says you can do it and um sorry about my cat <laughs> behind and I, it's, it says use the right materials uh, he, so he explains about those he explains about shapes and shading and how to um draw various parts of the bot of the, of the um face like the nose the, the eyes and the hair and he uh, really explains it good because he's really good at it so as you can see by that even just from the cover so um, anyway this is helpful to me so I thought you might like it um, it might help someone and then this one um, is called Painting Watercolor Portraits and it's by Al Stein and uh, as you can see he's very good at it beautiful portrait that he did there but he he goes step by step and explains you know uh, he explains a lot of uh, how to about the colors and and um, different uh, different directions that your face is looking like like uh, from the side or that and um, so this is a good book and then the other one is called the North Light Artist Guide. This is one of my favorite books for um, materials and techniques. So if you forget uh, how exactly do you do that, um, certain things about a certain material, or and what are the best papers to use, and you know stuff like that, and techniques of how to use, um, say, watercolor, acrylic, and all that. But um, here are, there's actually a lot of things that are covered in this book. Let me see. Okay, I'll go to the index here. Um, it covers, covers basics, basic things like uh, paints and brushes, um, knives, easels, all kinds of stuff, storage, um, mediums. What they are and watercolor. It tells you uh, it, it um, tells you about the mediums and varnishes, um, painting surfaces, the best things to use to uh, make it professional, and um, tools and accessories, and uh, and then oil and alkyd, uh, acrylics. It covers everything about acrylics, pastel and oil pastels colored pencils, um, egg, tempera, gouache, and casein, and, um, and then pencil, pen and ink, 
and charcoal and mixed media. Anyway, they uh, it's pretty thorough and it just it can answer a lot of questions that you might have. So, um, so anyway, uh, I hope that this is going to be helpful to you. And um, if you're like me, you get you might get bored with one technique or one medium and uh, and you might want to experiment or just learn more so uh, I hope this has been helpful to you thank you and I think I need to turn this off <laughs> my person is not here <laughs> he left okay let's see